everybody. We're back here with Kevin Hart. Right there. Kevin, I gotta ask well, you a question about your friend Dwayne Johnson. Go sure. Real, real, real quick. Gonna get very honest. There, there. <laughs> we, we talked about this week. He, he made some news this week by saying that he has a habit of peeing in a water bottle while he's working out. Okay. Were you aware of this? Have you seen this happen in your in your works out with Mr. Uh, Mr. Dwayne Johnson? Well, it's not news to me. He smelled like urine for years. Uh, <laughs> Can you talk you know, to him? Because it I, makes no it makes no sense to me. The working no, out place no, that doesn't have at, a bathroom. At, at a certain point, you know when a person has a problem, he's dealing with something else. Um, you know. So this is compensating. Some, yeah, there were yeah. times on set where I was like, should we say something? And everybody was like, he's big. And I was like, yeah, that's. <laughs> Just let that's, it happen. That's true. Just let it happen, man. Um, you know? uh, speaking of big, here you are on Men's Journal. There you yeah. are, and your yeah. mighty biceps. Yeah. Right there. Woo! Yeah. Ow! Kind of doing this thing though. You're kind of yeah. doing, kind of doing the fist thing underneath the bicep. No, right? well, that's a real. It, actually, this shirt here, I had trouble putting it on. That's about the bus. Uh, but you've always yeah. been fit. Here you are. This is swim team. How old are you here? You know? uh, I am. I am 13. 13 years old. There. There you go. That's right. On that's swim right. Team. Yeah. Right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. It just got rated R, didn't it, ladies? It got rated R. Now, yeah. as a teenager wearing a Speedo, mm -hmm. did that help or hurt your social life? Uh, actually, I think that... It's that, very European. It's very well, that European. says confidence. There's nothing more confident than a, than a young black kid in a Speedo. By the way, uh, <laughs> you guys probably think that that was with my swim team. No, that was on my class trip. Let me tell you... <laughs> let, me tell you let me tell you how bad that is, okay? <laughs> I'm going to tell you how bad this photo is. So we had a class trip. I uh, went to George Washington High School, and I was on a swim team. So on a swim team, your norm is a Speedo. These are the trunks you wear. Every guy is in a Speedo. Women are in tapered suits. We swim competitively. I did not know the world of other swimsuits or other trunks. I did not know the long trunk world exists. We get to my class trip, George Washington High School, and they go, yo, let's get in the pool. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so happy. I bought my trunks, but I got Speedos. I'm like, yeah, let's go. And I get out there, and I'll never forget, everybody, it was the first time that I've heard a group say, what the <laughs> do you have on? I, I've never, at the same time, at the same time, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, where y'all? I remember. I remember going. Where y'all speedos at? Nobody. Nobody else had on speedos. That's my class trip. That's a great picture. Now, uh, two years ago, uh, when you were on, uh, actually three years ago. Since then, you you were in a serious car accident. Yes. Yes. And uh, any residual? Or are you feeling right as rain? Uh, no, man. I'm great. I'm back to 100. percent Very lucky to yep. be where I am. Uh, of course, the appreciation for life goes up a thousand percent when you have any type of accident that you know could have caused terminal harm, like to where it didn't have to be what it is now. And I understand that you it sort of it made you rethink your work-life balance. Absolutely. But it's, um, it's been a couple years. How how do you keep that? How do you keep your 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 mind focused where it should be? Which I gotta is, I gotta be honest with life. you. It's like um, you know. So right now, this is when the, the battle starts, right? Because after my accident, of course, I was shut down. I was home. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we got hit with the pandemic. And, you know, you're looking at a course of almost two and a half years mm -hmm. where I've been home. So the focus on my family was the priority. Uh, that understanding, absolutely. That's my babies. That's right my here. tribe right there. there. The hard household. The hard household. Um, so... You know, I think for, for me, the, the thing was, I'm such a workaholic. I give a thousand percent to my craft, to my business, and it was understanding that I'm not matching that energy at home. How do I, how do I give that energy and make sure that that is going into them first and then the work second? I was doing it reverse. I was doing it work first, family second. And I think it takes a lot to check yourself, to understand where you're walking wrong and, and where you're taking uh, steps that aren't correct steps. So now that we're like getting back into the swing of things and I'm back at work, it's the mental of, okay, all right, we're back in it, you're hustling again, but we shut down for a week, let's go home and let's chill. Okay, you've been at it, make sure that you go two weeks and wife, kids, and you're prioritizing. So I think now when I'm able to make those bigger moves and bigger decisions, mm -hmm. uh, it's just making them feel like a priority. Not that I haven't before. Mm -hmm. In the pandemic, I just realized that I, 
I could have done more and I missed a lot. I've never been home for that long. You know, as a comic, mm -hmm. uh, you're gone every weekend. And I was gone damn near every weekend for 20 years of my life. Mm -hmm. So when you get to see what happens on Saturdays and Sundays consistently, the smile changes, mm -hmm. the, the heart beats a little different, uh, and your, your want and need for the love that comes with un, unconditional feedback of just you and your time. It's nothing else. I don't need anything else. I just want your time. That's what I realized. That's what I took from that. We have to take another break. We'll be right back with more Kevin Hart, everybody. Yeah.